This is not a time for pessimism. Capitalism, as we know it, is dead. You say children shouldn't worry. Well, I'm here to tell you that my generation will not give up. Just because we're all teenagers doesn't mean that we don't have the maturity, the knowledge, or the drive to take action and, and impart positive change in the world. A lot of young people think that they have no power and they can't control what's going on in politics. We do have power. I started trying to share my life and my story and my experiences as a disabled woman because I didn't see myself ever represented. The young people have massively created this movement where we're on the rise, we're unstoppable, we're unignorable. Nowadays, the narrative is that what we can do in five years. But from activists, we don't focus on that. We focus on what we can do today. The older generation has a lot of experience, but we have ideas, we have energy, and we have solutions for the now problems and the ones that are coming up. Climate change is linked to other socio-economic problems like poverty, inequality, xenophobia, gender-based violence. And there's a little bit of a trade-off between a company actually being sustainable and trying to make their consumers feel like they're being sustainable. I can't be angry at society's ignorance if I'm not willing to do something to educate society. People are on the streets struggling and dying every day. There's zero sessions about the social movements that are happening in a lot of the world. We can't continue to be self-centered in Europe and in the US. We can't live in a divided world, right? We're all living on the same planet. If we mess it up, that's the end game. We have so many young people with potential in Africa, and yet there's not enough being done to ensure that they explore that potential and actually utilize that potential. I come from countries where we have a lot of dictatorships, and if I want to convey my real message, I'll probably be killed or imprisoned. This is a really good start. It's, it's, a, it's a sign of hope, and we know that there's more that we can look forward to. If we can use the opportunities and potentials that exist here to grow our world, then there is a relation between World Economic Forum leaving an impact on the world. Young people, the unique aspect that we have is that we don't look at it as a burden, but more as an opportunity. We come in saying, we've done it, so why can't you? So it's really giving me hope that people are starting to listen to us and starting to understand that the future is ours and we're starting to take charge of it right now. The reason why we're here is because we're tired of empty promises. We're tired of too much talk, right? We're tired of too much coming to Davos and then going back and not doing anything, right? I've been here for four days and no one has been listening. A lot of people are curious to hear what we have to say, but it's what they do with what we say that really counts. It's not my fault that the truth makes you uncomfortable. Your uncomfort is not my issue. Take the streets protest, because if we're going down, we're going to take them down with us. We're at the breaking point. It's either we act now or we can't act anymore. Never give up in your fight. Know that what you're doing, you're doing it for a reason and the end goal will be sweet. Ask yourself this one question. How will you be part of the change that we're trying to see? To the world leaders and those in power, you haven't seen anything yet. Thank <laughs> you.